Hello and welcome to the Growth Handbook series. My name is Jacob. I'm software engineer at Meta. Previously, I was at Microsoft. I built a few products during my career and I spent over two years at Facebook Marketplace Growth Team. In this video series, I will share everything what I learned about growth. If you find this video useful, please hit the like button. This will give me a signal that this type of content is useful and I'll do more of it. Growth strategy number seven, search engine optimization, SEO. SEO is optimizing your website for search engine in such a way that it ranks as high as possible in search results. It's probably even more advanced growth strategy than running ads, as you need to actively invest in it and the effects are not immediate. You might need to wait for results even a few months. It is also hard to measure effectiveness of SEO because you cannot just run A-B tests. All the changes you're making to your websites need to apply for entire website. Why should you care about SEO at all? Well, because if your product is not ranked on the first page of search results, you probably will not get any search traffic. And by search results, I mean Google. There are other search engines, uh, but like Bing is maybe 10% of the market. Google is between 80 and 90. So any efforts to optimize your site for other search engines than Google will have 8x plus lower impact. So you just want to optimize for Google and, and other search engines are usually very similar to Google when it comes to ranking. So if you optimize your site for Google, 90% of these efforts will probably apply to other search engines as well. <clears throat> Some things to be aware when you're doing search engine optimizations is login and creating single page apps. These two things are making uh, indexing very hard for search engines. So if you cannot see anything on your website or anything about your product without first logging in, then search engine crawlers won't be able to index it and uh, other people won't be able to find it. So make sure to provide some sort of uh, logout experience. And then if you have single page app that everything is behind one URL, you have similar problem because people will be able only to land on this one website. You cannot take advantage of optimizing for different keywords for different sub sites of your website. So Search engine optimizations is very, very uh, deep and very, very broad strategy. There is like literally tens of hundreds of things to, uh, to do. Um, and it's probably like one of the oldest growth strategies as well. So let me outline you like the first five steps you should take if you want to optimize for SEO. So first one, and probably the most important one, is to make sure that your sites can be indexed by search engines. So that means uh, you don't have robots.txt, which tells search engine crawlers to do not index your website. And there are like some other things, um, like for example, make sure you have logout experience or that not everything is behind one URL and so on. Um, Another thing is high quality and compelling content that people actually want to read. Because even if you end up ranking pretty good and people will start coming to your site, if they don't spend enough time and if they don't do any action on your site, that means they will uh, have a high bounce rate. So bounce rate is the percent of users that come to your site and leaves pretty quickly or don't, to, don't take any action like clicking a link or uh, making a purchase. If you have high bounce rate, the search engine ranking will derank your site. So even if uh, at first you manage to rank high, later on you might be deranked because of that. Another thing to do for search engines is keyword optimization. So when you're writing a content to your website, make sure that you use keywords that people would potentially put in the search uh, title. So for example, um, when on my blog, 
I was uh, writing a blog post about solution for problem with battery icon on Surface Pro, right? I used actually all of these uh, keywords in the title of my blog post because I know that they will be looking for that. I, I named a blog post something like solution for missing battery icon in Surface Pro, right? And if you will be searching for that, you'll be like missing battery in Surface Pro solution or something like that. So there will be probably a good match of my blog post with the search query. And when, you, uh, when, when you're doing this uh, keyword optimization and uh, people find uh, some compelling content, what is very popular uh, actually in addition to just uh, find your product is also like SEO marketing. So there's a lot of companies that they just talk about how they build the product. And these articles are actually more attractive and more interesting about just uh, listening about how awesome your product is. And it draws a lot of people there. So one example of that is Basecamp, a company created by Jason Fried and David Heinemeyer Hansen. So they had like a tech blog where they were talking about how they build their, their product, uh, Basecamp. And uh, when people are coming to their blog to read how they build it, they automatically were developing the brand awareness. And then later on, when they're like, oh, we need uh, some uh, task management software. And like, oh, there is this thing Basecamp, like I, I read about how they build the product. Um, there is a lot of examples like that. And, people, and even like Facebook or Google, uh, they have tech blogs when they talk about different tech, how they how they build something. And you know, later on, what will happen is the customers can come and actually use that tech because uh, they learn about how cool it is and how uh, this was built. So keywords optimizations can can work together with this uh, SEO marketing. Um, another important thing when you are doing SEO is performance. You need to make sure your site is loading fast and has good user experience because slower loading site are not only automatically ranked by the search engines, but also they'll correlate with higher bounce rate because if your site loads uh, for a few seconds, people might get impatient and they just close it and try to go to the different link. And uh, fifth one, a uh, pretty basic one, actually maybe I should start with this one, is uh, make sure you have a solid title, URL, ideally your URL will be similar to title. So for example, if you have a blog and if you write a blog about building web apps with React, um, make sure your URL is myblog.com slash building dash web dash apps dash with dash React. Um, this will work well for search engines. And also make sure you have good description so that when people see um, your, uh, your site in the search results, they can get a gist whether this is something that they're looking for. And this will increase the CTR and uh, better CTR is good for your uh, site as long as there is no high bounce rate. So these are the very, very, very basics of uh, SEO. Uh, to learn more, I encourage you to check out the Google Search Central. It's like a Bible of SEO. Uh, there's a link in the description. Um, for more general guide, I really recommend Moz SEO Guide, also link in the description. And call to action for you. Check your website for SEO readiness with Moz SEO Audit Checklist. There is a link in the description. And... Uh, if you do not uh, check all the boxes in this uh, SEO audit, just do it. And uh, maybe in a few months, uh, you'll get some free SEO traffic. It actually doesn't cost uh, much money. But if you want to be serious with SEO, it might be worth to hire an expert. If you made it that far, you probably found this video useful. If that's the case, please hit the like button. If you have any questions, please leave the comment. I'll be very happy to answer. You can also subscribe to my channel to get notifications about new videos. If you want to learn more about growth, check out the links in the video description. You'll find there my recommended books about growth and link to my growth handbook.